Hello, everyone. Welcome to another multi-sensory story time brought to you by the Washington Talking Book and Braille Library. My name is Erin Groth. I'm the Youth Services Librarian here. And today's story time is going to be all about summer. That's right. The sun is out. It is hot. Maybe you are out of school or out of preschool. Maybe you are playing outside in the sunshine all day long. And we are just excited because it is the season of summer. Let's go ahead and start with our hello song. I'm going to play it on my ukulele and I hope you sing along. It's called Hello Friend. Here we go. to read a book my friends we're going to play and sing and dance and rhyme and of course tell stories in our story time let's go ahead and start out with our finger play we are going to do our first finger song which is our turtle song let's make our turtle with our hands one fist out and then your other hand flat on top for that turtle shell with your thumb as that turtle head here we go I had a little turtle who lived in a box. He swam in the water and he climbed on the rocks. He snapped at the mosquito. He snapped at the flea. He snapped at the minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow but he didn't catch me. No, he didn't. <laughs> Let's do another song with our fingers. Let's do our fish song. Let's have that slippery fish swimming on by. Here he goes with your hand out flat and your thumb up straight. And he's just giving a wiggle. Those are his fins flipping around in the water. A uh, slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, yum, yum, yum. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by an octopus, octopus, squiggling in the water. Octopus, octopus, Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by a great white shark. Great white shark lurking in the water. Great white shark, great white shark. Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale spouting in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale. Yum, yum, yum. Good job, everyone. Great work with all those ocean creatures. Perfect for summertime. You can go to the beach and see a lot of those creatures, I bet. Let's do one more song with our fingers. We're going to do our froggy song. Let's put your two first two fingers, your index and your middle finger, and then your thumb under your chin and flick because we are doing our frog song. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I found a little froggy. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. Glug, glug, glug. He ate up all the soap. Nom, 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 nom. <gasps> now he's home sick in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> Good job, my friend. Speaking of bubbles, we're going to play with some bubbles later on in this story time. Just you wait. But right now, According to the schedule behind me, it is time for our felt board. And today's felt story is going to be all about a bear. So I have a bear here and he is 
going to a swimming pool. Have you been to the swimming pool? Oh, it's a great place to go when it is super hot outside and you just need a break from the heat to dive right in and cool off. Or maybe just sit in the shallow end and put your feet in the water. That feels great too. Well, my friends, when you are going to the pool, you need several things. Let's see, what do we need? If you're going to the pool, bring your suit, your swimsuit. If you're going to the pool, bring your suit, your swimsuit. If you're going to the pool and you wanna stay cool, if you're going to the pool, bring your suit, your swimsuit. If you're going to the pool, bring your hat, your sun hat. If you're going to the pool, bring your hat, your sun hat. If you're going to the pool and you want to stay cool, if you're going to the pool, bring your hat, your sun hat. If you're going to the pool, bring your glasses, oh, your sunglasses. If you're going to the pool, bring your glasses, the sunglasses. If you're going to the pool and you want to look cool, if you're going to the pool, wear your sunglasses. Let's see what else. If you're going to the pool, bring your sunscreen. That's important. If you're going to the pool, bring your sunscreen. That's important. If you're going to the pool and you want to stay cool, if you're going to the pool, bring your sunscreen. We use our sunscreen to keep our skin safe and protected from the sun. We don't want a sunburn. Mm -mm -mm. If you're going to the pool, bring your towel. Yeah, if you're going to the pool, bring your towel. Yeah, if you're going to the pool and you want to stay cool, if you're going to the pool, bring your towel. Yeah, looks like Mr. Bear is all ready to swim at the pool. He has on a blue and white striped swimming suit, a yellow sun hat with a green band, a blue bottle of sunscreen with a yellow sun and white cap, a pair of shiny red sunglasses and a great beach towel, pool towel, I guess you could say, that is orange and kind of reddish colored, all tie-dyed and swirly, and he is ready to jump in the pool. Let's say goodbye to our bear friend and goodbye to that felt board. We're all done with that. That was a great story. I hope that you get to go to a swimming pool someday soon and you get to sing a song just like that with all of your special pool items. Let's go ahead and do our scarf song, my friends. It's hard to see behind me. There it is. It's scarfs up next. My scarf today is green, green like the grass in summertime is lush and green and thriving in the sun. <laughs> Let's do a song about a windy day. Scarves are great for showing the wind because they just float and flutter on down in that wind. They're very lightweight. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's pretend my scarf is an umbrella. I'm going to put my hand straight up and down and drape the scarf over it. So it's kind of like an umbrella on its umbrella pole. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. A windy day, a windy day, a windy day blew my umbrella away. Oh no. Ah, let's get a windy day, a windy day, a windy day blew my umbrella away. Oh man. Let's see, what else could our scarf be? Our umbrella is gone. <coughs> Let's let it be a hat. Can you put your scarf on top of your head? It's a hat now. 
Uh oh, a windy day, a windy day, a windy day blew my hat away. Oh, take that hat off. Let's do the hat one more time. A windy day, a windy day, a windy day blew my hat away. Oh my goodness, what will happen next? <gasps> Let's see. Now our scarf is going to be the wind. A windy day, a windy day, a windy day blew <gasps> me away. Ah, put that scarf on your face. Oh, can you put that on your face and just feel it like the wind hitting you? Yeah. Oh, that's so fun to do with our scarves. Let's do one more gust of wind with our scarf. We're just gonna toss it away. We are all done with our scarves, my friends. It's time for story time. And today we are using some Play-Doh for our story time. Get your Play-Doh out. I have some orange Play-Doh here today, which is the perfect color because I am going to make the sun out of my play-doh today and you can too it's pretty easy to make the sun let's see we just need a little bit of play-doh and i'm gonna roll it in between my two flat hands to make a ball and then i'm gonna take that ball and smash it between my two hands until it makes a circle which is flat like a pancake. I'm gonna put that to the side. Now we need to make the sun's rays. And we're gonna show those sun's rays to be like some triangles. That's a good way to show the sun's rays. So what we need to do is take some little pieces of Play-Doh and put them in between both of your index fingers and both of your thumbs until they make a triangle type of shape. There we go. And I'm just gonna stick that first triangle right on top of my sun circle. So now it has one ray. Let's see, we're gonna do it just the same thing with our two index fingers and our two thumbs. And we're making a triangle. A triangle has how many sides? One, two, three sides. Three sides on the triangle. We're gonna smash it down right onto our sun. So now it has two rays. And we're gonna do that again. Another triangle out of our thumbs and index fingers with three sides and three points. One, two, three pointy parts on a triangle too not just three sides, but three points. We have just two more sun ray triangles to make. Here's one more, that one's all done. We're gonna smash that down. And our last triangle sun ray. This type of sun will not hurt your skin. You don't need to wear sunscreen when you are making your sun out of Play-Doh. So that's good news. And voila, we have a orange sun made out of Play-Doh. It looks kind of like a starfish too. You know, a starfish also has some pointy legs that are kind of like triangles and a round body in the middle. If you wanted, you could give it eyes. You could give the sun some sunglasses. It's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and put Mr. Sun away. In just a minute, we're gonna sing, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, goodbye from you and me. Yeah, we're saying goodbye to that sun. We're putting him in the Play-Doh bucket. All done, sun. You could let your sun though sit out on a windowsill and let the real sun light rays come down and bake it so that it gets hard and you can keep that sun forever. Wow. 
let's do our egg shakers next. That's what's up next on our schedule behind me. Let me get my eggs out. Do you have your eggs? Here's one. I have a blue one. And I hear the other one. Where is it? Oh, there it is. A yellow one. Yeah, perfect. Okay, my friends, we are going to pretend today that we are swimming, swimming in a pool or swimming in a lake, swimming in the ocean, swimming in Puget Sound. We don't know. Where are we swimming? Where are you swimming today? Yeah, we're just going to keep on moving our arms one up and down the other up and down and just imagine you are putting your arms through the water and you can feel the water under your fingertips and on the palms of your hands yeah swimming in the water cool and bright <gasps> kicking my feet with all my might and when i'm tired I turn and float. You put your arms out and float, pretending that I am a boat, rowing back and forth and back and forth. I like to hold my breath and take a dive and swim beneath the water and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Swim back up to the surface. Oh, yes, and now we're swimming again on the surface. One arm over another. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Do you hear those egg shakers? Every time you move your arms, those egg shakers are making a shaking sound. If you shake them fast, it's kind of like a splash of water. If you shake them softly, it's kind of like rain falling. Yeah, we can make lots of water sounds with our egg shakers. Let's give them one final shake. And we're gonna say goodbye to those eggs. Goodbye, egg shakers. It was fun. But right now it's time for our puppet. Today's puppet is very special. You have not met him before. It's a pink flamingo. A flamingo is a type of bird. They've got long legs and kind of a curly neck with a curved beak. They've got two eyes and two wings. And what is special about flamingos is they are pink. They have pink feathers, pink like bubble gum, pink like some fish, some salmon. Oh, yes, we love flamingos. And they love to stand on one leg. Can you stand on one leg like a flamingo? Yeah, good work. All right, my friends, let's do a little puppet song with this flamingo. And there's a surprise at the end. Here we go. My flamingo friend went out to play, flying across the lake and far away. Oh, I bet they are eating shrimp until they turn pink. Soon they'll come back, I do think. Hmm. Will you call our flamingo with me? Flamingo, flamingo, where did you go, go? Okay, you know. Flamingo, flamingo, where did you go, go? <gasps> Who's that? A flamingo came back. And this one is lighting up. <gasps> And bubbles, my flamingo puppet is a bubble machine. <laughs> oh, so fun. Did you think that this flamingo will have some bubbles inside? I bet you didn't think that. 
Oh my goodness. Let's say goodbye to that flamingo. When we have our story time in person again, you will be able to play with that flamingo puppet if you come to our library, but we are not quite open yet very soon. All right, my friends, we have said goodbye to our flamingo puppet and we are ready to say goodbye to story time. That's right, it's almost over. Let's do our eating song and we'll be able to do our goodbye poem. Here we go. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to drink, drink, drink milk and water. I like to drink, drink, drink milk and water. I'd like some more, 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 please and thank you. I'd like some more, more, more please and thank you and thank you guys for listening we're gonna do our goodbye poem right now ready on my face i have a nose and way down here i have ten toes i have two eyes that i can't blink i have a head to help me think i have a chin and very near I have two ears to help me hear. I have a mouth with which to speak. And when I run, I use my feet. I have two arms to hold a pie. And here's a hand to wave. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. <laughs>